Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And happy Fourth! Uh, today's Fourth of July, so happy Fourth of July. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be going over the responsive video player 2.0 widget, um, and it's a lot of fun. It's a really great widget to add video to your Adobe Muse website. Uh, so here I have a sample page or an example website, uh, and this is using uh, HTML, HTML5 video, so like MP4 video or .webm or .ogg, um, and let me just, yeah, and here I'll just hit play, and we can see the video is playing, and we can fast forward through the video, um, change the volume, I can fast forward like that, and rewind, and I can change the volume here, I can make it full screen, and watch the video full screen, and here we can see the duration. I can mute the audio here. If the video has audio, I can pause it here, or I can pause it by clicking on the video, just like that. And I can make the corner of the video player. I can set the radius for the corners, and I can change the color of the icons here. And I can add uh, HTML5 video, YouTube video, Vimeo video, or audio. So if I go to the YouTube video, here's uh, one of my videos from my YouTube channel. And I can play the YouTube video just like that. So you scale the fill, position. change the audio, or make the volume um, higher, just like that. And I'll pause it, and then I can click on Vimeo. We can add Vimeo video. Here is a Vimeo video. Perfect. And that looks good. The updates. So we have new widget setup. All right, so that's Vimeo, and then we can add an audio player with the video player. It's an audio player that uses the video player's um, look and feel. So here's the Muse for You theme music. All right, and we can even add tooltips. We can see the duration of the audio with the tooltip here. Um, so there's the responsive video player. This is completely responsive. So all of these players, they will change size with the browser size, larger or smaller just like that. So we have video, YouTube uh, video, Vimeo video, and audio. So it's a really great widget and I think it'll probably be the only video player uh, you'll need to add video to your Adobe Muse website. So in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the widget and the different options within the widget. Um, so to access this widget you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, the only widget that's not included in the subscription is the Muse Morph SVG Morphing widget uh, because it's using the Green Socks, the Green Sock Morph SVG, SVG plugin technology. Uh, so it is a standalone widget there. Um, but here's the responsive video player 2.0 widget. So I'll click here. And if you did want to purchase individually, uh, you could click here to add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year um, so here's the intro of the widget and here are the features of the widget so you can add html5 video add youtube and vimeo videos uh, use video player as an audio player set the set the video player to a custom size set the video player to 100 percent width have the video player be responsive instead of max width uh, it, is, it is very lightweight for your adobe muse website uh, you can customize the colors of the video player, change the corner radius of the video player, add captions to the video player. So if you have a uh, .vtt file, you can add captions um, as the video is playing. Uh, you can enable or disable control buttons, play or pause video when clicking on video player, enable control tooltip, enable seek tooltip, hide controls, show poster image when video is finished. So if you wanted uh, for the video to go back to the beginning with the poster image after it's done, you can have the video player do that. Uh, you can disable right click on video, you can display duration of the video, you can set the video to full screen, you can autoplay video, you can loop the video, and the video plays on mobile. And here's a video converter, so if you wanted to convert your mp4 file to .web, .webm and ogg, uh, you could use this website here. And here are a few uh, free stock video websites uh, that you can use uh, to add, uh, that you could use for videos uh, for your website. Um, and they have some really nice ones there, um, you know, different landscapes and some really great videos. 
Uh, and here are the widget options and I'll, and I'll go over these uh, in this video tutorial here. So we have a few of the widget options here. So I'll go ahead and give a quick demonstration of how to use the widget in Adobe Muse. Uh, so I'll open up my Adobe Muse website, I'll go to new and I'll click OK. And then I'll click on the home page and then I'll go to the library panel. Uh, if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library and the library panel will show up here on the right. All right, and for, for the widget, um, I gave it the acronym VP2, so it's easy to find within the library panel. So you just type in VP2, and then we have the muse for You Video Player 2.0 widget. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is click on the Add First VP2, click, hold, and drag, and place at the top of the Adobe Muse website. Uh, now this first widget is what's going to control the styling um, and the customization of the video player. So here we can see it says load video icons and this will be the first thing you'll want to do when adding the widget. So here I'll click add file and then in the folder that was downloaded or the zip file, uh, when you extract the zip file you'll, you'll see all these files here. And in the zip file, in that folder, there's a, there's a file called video icons svg and this is the file that you'll want to that you'll want to load into the widget so i'll just double click and now when i have my video player i'll be able to see all the icons uh, for the video player okay so we've added the video icons and here we can change the icon background color and the icon color here if we want the video to be responsive we'll click on enable responsive and we'll set the max width um, so if you wanted the video to take up 50 percent within the browser you'd set it to 50% or uh, whatever you'd like the max width to be from zero to 100. 100% width would mean that the video takes up the entire width of the browser. And then you can align the video center, left, center, or right. Um, and here I have instructions um, on how to enable responsive, uh, just like I'm going over in this video tutorial. Um, you'll be seeing more of, the, of these uh, tips and instructions and more of the widgets that I'll be coming out with. Um, because I feel it's a nice little explanation there for when you're using the widget. Okay, and here we have the controls. So you can disable all the controls or you can enable specific controls. So you can enable the large play button, enable the play button, enable the progress bar, enable current time display, enable mute button, enable volume bar, enable caption button, and enable full screen button. So by unchecking or checking these options here, you can enable or disable uh, those controls within the video player. Um, and then for the options, you can have the video autoplay. Um, you can set the video border radius, so you can make it kind of a nice oval for the video, and that has a really nice effect. Uh, depending on how large large the video player is, um, it can look more like an oval or or a square with uh, cornered edges uh, around it, which has a really nice effect as well. And here you can set the volume for the video player. You can set it to click to play, so when you click on the video player, you can have it pause or have it play. Uh, you can disable the right click on the video player, you can hide the controls, um, and the, the controls will be hidden after two seconds. So if the user mouses off the video player, the video controls will hide and they will just see the video player, uh, which is a nice feature there. And then you can enable co control tooltips, so you'll see um, kind of information on the controls. Uh, you can enable the seek tooltip, so it, it'll show you at what point um, the video is at in the tooltip. Uh, you can display duration and you can show poster image on end. All right, so those are the options there. And then if you click full screen, you can enable the full screen or disable it. And you can have a viewport fallback on browsers that don't support full screen. The video will just become full screen within the browser and not the entire uh, monitor or screen. And here you can set the audio to full screen. So if the user's uh, listening to audio with the audio player, uh, they can set the audio player to full screen. Um, not sure why they might do that, but it, there, there is the option there if the user just wants the screen to be full screen while they're listening to the audio within the audio player. Okay, so this is where all the settings are set. And to add the video, we'll just go back to the widget options and I'll add an HTML5 video. So I'll click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. Now the first thing you want to do when adding HTML5 video, which is MP4, WebM or OGV uh, files for the video, uh, the first thing you want to do is add the poster image. So I'll click here on add file for the poster image. And then here I have a few poster images. So I'm going to select um, this one LA to LA uh, HD image because uh, that's the video I'll be using. And we notice here that the poster image is within the widget container. So to get a correct representation of how much space the video will take uh, within the website or how large the video will be, uh, you just drag out the widget container uh, in, in the width 
And here we can see that the poster image becomes larger and it shows you uh, a good representation of how large the video will, video player will be uh, within the website. And the video player uses a 16-9 video ratio. So in the widget options, we have this 16-9 16 to 9 aspect ratio calculator. So if I click here, I can calculate um, the width and the height for my video player within Adobe Muse uh, by selecting, let's say I want my video to be 400 pixels in height. Uh, here, it, I enter 400 pixels in height, and here is the width. So I know my video will have to be around 711 pixels in width. So here, I'll just go into the widget, and for the width, I'll say 711, just like that. And then we can see that the height became 404, so um, it's just about right. It's off maybe by four pixels, three or four pixels, but you can just kind of play with that a little bit. I could maybe say 7, 709 if I wanted exactly 400 pixels, and then just change the widget container here. Just bring it up a little bit. And I got 403, so it just takes a little bit of playing with if you want exact uh, width and height for your video player. Uh, so there I've added the, the poster image, so now I want to add the video. So I'll open the widget options and first select MP4 file. Um, I'll click add file and I'll select that video. So there I have the video selected. So now if I go to, let me just uh, center this. Yeah, so now if I go to file, preview page and browser, we have the video player and it auto plays because I have it set to auto play. And the video will seek and loop once it's uploaded to a live server. Uh, so I, again, I've added some, some nice um, explanations here. Here I, I wrote, if responsive is enabled, set the poster image max width to the same as the responsive max width in the add first widget. This will give you a correct re representation of how much space the video will take on the website. And then for the MP4 file, because I added an MP4 file here, um, I wrote here, recommended to add at least a .mp4 file for video. You can add a .webm or .dot and .ogg file or .ogg file for fallback support on browser browsers that do not support .mp4 files or video. Uh, most browsers do support .mp4 and captions are optional. Uh, and just in, as an example of um, what, how many browsers support MP4, I'm going to go to caniuse.com and I'm going to type in MP4. So as we can see, most browsers support uh, MP4, if not all browsers. IE8 doesn't and Opera Mini doesn't support MP4 files, um, but most of the browsers do support uh, .mp4 video files. All right, so I'll go back into the widget options. And then here I wrote, uh, the video will play in Google Chrome and Firefox when previewing your website locally. It will play on all other browsers once it, it is uploaded to a live server and the video will seek and loop once it is uploaded to a live server. Um, so those are the notes there as you're working with the widget. If you want to reference these for any information about the widget, uh, you can reference it here. Um, and then we have the video converter here where you can go to the video converter and convert your uh, MP4 files or you know WebM or OGV files. You can convert them here. All right, so I'll go back into the widget. And then we can also add caption to the video. So if you have a .vtt file, you can add uh, captions to the video and you can set the caption language and the caption label here. All right, and you can also loop the video, and here you can set the poster image max width. So if I did want the video player to be responsive, because right now it's um, it's not responsive, because if I resize the browser, we can see the video doesn't change. Um, I could do a few things. I could set a few breakpoints within Adobe Muse and keep changing the size of the video on different breakpoints. Or I could go into the Add First widget here, and I could say Enable Responsive, and I'll leave it at 80% here uh, for the max width, and then I'll leave it... Uh, aligned centered here. And here are instructions uh, on how to enable responsive as well. This is basically what I'm going over uh, right now is how to enable responsive. Um, so first we select the enable responsive option. We select the max width for the video player within the browser. Uh, we select left, left, center, or right um, in for the position of the video player. And then for the video player, uh, we're gonna stretch it to browser width with a built-in resize option in Adobe Muse. So I'll click on the video player here, and then I'll in the resize option, I'll click the, the drop down and say stretch to browser width. So now this video is responsive. So now if I go to file, preview page and browser, we can see that the video is responsive just like that, which looks really good. All right, and we, as we can see, it takes up 80% of the browser width. Um, so it doesn't take up the full 100% width of the browser. 
And there is a note that here, if responsive is enabled, set the poster image to max width, um, set the poster image max width to the same as the responsive max width in the add first widget. So in the add first widget, it was 80%. So here I want to say 80% as well. And then I want to go to text and align the poster image in the center by selecting the align center option here in the text in the built in Adobe Muse text option. And this will just give me a correct representation of how much space the video will take up within the website. So I'll go to file preview page and browser. And we have a correct representation of the video size within the browser as I'm designing the website. So it's good, you know, when you're designing the website, uh, just to have a good representation of how how much space the video will take within the browser. Um, so if I set this to 100% the max width, and I go back into the poster image, and I'll set it to 100%. We can see it takes up the entire width of the website. So now if I go to file preview page and browser, the video takes up the entire browser width and it is fully responsive. I can play it, pause it, just like that, change the volume, make it full screen, and I'll close it here. And I can play and go through the entire video. All right, so that looks good. So I'll go over a few more of the styling options within the widget. So if I go to the add first widget, I can change the color. So I'll change the color there. And I can change the video border radius. So I can have it be more kind of an oval shape there. So here I'll say 25 for the border radius. And I'll go to file preview page and browser. And we can see that the video has more of a uh, cornered uh, edge there, more of a radius to the corner. And I'll make the video a little bit smaller so we can see it. So I'll make it 50% um, within the browser. And I'll set the poster image here to 50 as well. All right, and I'll just bring this up a little bit. And I'll go to file preview page and browser. And there we have the video looks nice and we have that nice radius uh, to the video on the corners okay so I've gone over the styling and adding the video player uh, so now we can also add uh, YouTube and Vimeo video so I'll delete this here and I'll select YouTube and Vimeo video here just like that and then for the options here we can select YouTube or Vimeo and then the video ID so I'll just say stretch to browser width here and now I'll go to file preview page and browser and we have a YouTube video and it is responsive as well. So for the YouTube and Vimeo video, it actually works really well, the 16:9 aspect ratio, uh, because you don't have a poster image for the video. So using the aspect ratio calculator, you can set the container here, the widget container to the exact size of the 16:9 aspect ratio. Uh, so you know how much space the video is taking up within the website. Uh, so here you would for the video ID you just enter the ID at the end of the YouTube video and the same for Vimeo just the ID at the end of the Vimeo URL um, and it's usually a few few digits or characters uh, for the video ID okay so that's YouTube and Vimeo and you can also add an audio player with the video player widget so I'll click hold and drag place right in there and here I'll click add file to add an mp3 file so I'll double click here on this mp3 file and the width of the widget is the what the width of the uh, video player will be unless you set it to 100% width in here and it'll use the responsive options here um, if the widget is at 100% width. So I'll go to file preview page and browser and there we can see the video player and it is responsive. I can pause it and mute it, change the volume just like that and change the corner radius here. So if I set the radius here to zero and I go to file preview page and browser, let me close this one here. We can see we have more of a uh, rectangle here for the, uh, the edges or the edges don't have kind of a corner radius to them. All right, so that's the audio player. And so we've gone over the HTML5 video, the YouTube and Vimeo video and the audio player. Um, and the add first is where you'll control all the options for the video player. All right, so I think that's it for this video tutorial. Um, if you did want, want to add it with breakpoints, you could just add a breakpoint and I'll just add a breakpoint there. Um, you could have it at 100% width as well, or you could just have it be different sizes on different, um, different breakpoints. So I'll just do something like that. And then I'll disable responsive here. So I'll go to file preview page and browser. So there we have that one.
and there on the different breakpoint um, it changes and I'll make it a little bit smaller so we can see it better so there we go we can see it gets a bit smaller on the 768 breakpoint and larger there so you can have different video players so as an example I'll bring in the HTML5 video just like that and yeah, let me add the poster image and add the video All right, so there's the video and then on the larger breakpoint I can set it to really large or kind of as large as I'd like all right so there we have that and that one so if I go to file preview page and browser there we have it on that breakpoint and on this breakpoint the video gets smaller okay so we can have you know we can either set it to 100% responsive uh, within the widget options or we could use the Adobe Muse breakpoints and change the size of the of the video player on the different breakpoints okay so that's it for this video tutorial um, again to access this widget you can go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal you can click here and subscribe with PayPal uh, the only widget that's not included in the subscription is the Muse Morph SVG morphing widget because it's using Greensock's Morph SVG plugin technology um, so it is a standalone widget there and here is the video player widget and here if you wanted to purchase individually you could click add to cart or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And here we have the preview page that has the HTML5 video, YouTube and Vimeo video and the audio player. And here are the widget options as well. Okay, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.